Hi guys, it's Andy from Nismo Tech UK. Today we're going to be taking a look at the TP-Link AV1200 3-port gigabit pass-through power line starter kit. This particular kit is capable of running up to 1200 megabits per second. As it mentions here, we've got the Ultra HD stream up to 1200 megabits per second power line speed with 3 gigabit ports for ideal for Ultra HD streaming. 2x2 uh, MIMO technology with uh, beamforming ensuring fast and stable connection and it's plug and play. You simply plug the adapters in and it works straight away. Just for reference, the model number is TLPA8030P kit. Uh, so we've got a TP link logo up at the top, an image of the actual adapters on there as well. Down at the bottom here, we've also got extra power sockets. So it's a pass through, uh, gigabit ports, 300 meter range, one button security, and 85% power save. And moving on to this side, we have got some information, some specification. We've got the usual standards, 128-bit uh, AES encryption, a range of 300 meters over electrical circuit. One thing I do want to point out is that if you are planning on running this in some kind of extension or a different part of the building uh, that may not have been there originally when the building was built, just ensure that you are connected onto the same circuit and on the same circuit breakers. If you're on a completely different circuit, this product will not work for you. Um, so I see, do bear that in mind. Um, I've got dimensions of the unit. Um, you've got pair button, a little bit of information really on that side. On this side, you've got the package contents, a little bit of a demonstration and image of how to go about connecting uh, the actual power line adapters up. And then on the back, we've got an image um, basically just showing the various different connection options for the actual uh, units themselves. We've also got a bit of a guide down on this side to sort of try and decide which one. If you're trying to decide what power line adapter is best for you, this guide will obviously tell you if you're in the retail environment. Um, I'm just having a look up here at the features and benefits just to see if there's anything uh, that we haven't actually covered. Oh, here we go. It's compatible with other power line adapters as well. Uh, so obviously you can go and extend uh, into various different rooms. If you brought another kit or another single adapter, it will all uh, connect with AV1200, 1600, 500, and 200. So that's about it for the actual uh, packaging. Let's go and take it out. I see it does come with a three years manufacturer's warranty as well, which is really, really good to see. Let's take this out a moment. down over there so let's have a look and see what we're actually greeted with inside the box here we go finally getting into it okay so as you can see we've actually got the power line adapters in there so we're just going to go and take them out they're actually quite big a lot bigger than i was expecting and we'll just go and have a look and see what else we've got underneath Okay, so also in the box you have got some warranty information. You, by the looks of it, got some kind of brochure about other TP-Link products. You got your resource CD, which is potentially going to have a user manual and possibly a little bit of software on there. Uh, a little leaflet about technical support. Quick installation guide. Let's just go and have a, a look and see what this actually looks like. Uh, it's quite simple nice and easily laid out so you shouldn't have too many problems and also on the inside you have got two uh, ethernet cables in there as well so pop that down over there and we'll take a look at the actual units and the units themselves seem to be identical so you can plug one into one uh, next to the router and one in another room or wherever you want to uh, terminate the actual uh, power line connectivity so we're just going to go and take a look around this particular unit also we have some plastic over the top i'm going to keep on there for the moment just while i'm handling the actual unit it's a very nice white professional looking unit also we've got some ventilation around all the way around you've got the pass-through plug you've got your power led uh, you've got your power line and led uh, to show that it's connected to the other unit and also you've got your lan uh, connectivity id um, on there as well you've got your three gigabit connectors along the top and that's about it really they're quite a simple uh, unit on the back you have actually got the MAC address uh, and password for that as one well, model number on the actual back um, but you can actually see the size of the actual units 
Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're quite smart looking. Quite like the uh, the white look. Just have a look around this one just to see. No, nothing different on there. So we're now going to go and show you how to actually go about setting the units up. So one of the things that I would do before getting started is going on to uh, the actual user manual and you do that by using the resource CD, clicking on the relevant model and we have the 8030p and clicking on the actual user manual which will bring up a PDF document which is going to tell you all about how to go about connecting the actual units together. Um, very, very simple information. Um, about the actual unit, what the actual LEDs mean um, with regards to uh, its connectivity, etc. And some other bits and pieces as we go a bit further down in the manual um, about connecting through to um, the actual power line utility, which will enable you to go and uh, adjust some of the settings for the power line adapters, which I'll show you towards the end of the video. So, the first thing you want to do is go and grab one of the actual units and go and plug a network cable into the actual unit and then go and plug that unit into a socket that's close to your router and then switch that on in a moment you then want to go and plug the other end of the cable into your router so it's then connected and then we'll go and switch this on if I can find the switch there we go so on the device we have got the power LED to show that there is power going to the unit. We have got the LAN or the Ethernet connection LED which will blink as soon as it starts to transmit data. And you also have got the power line LED which will show that it is connected to the other unit. Okay, so now that you've got it connected into the router, the next thing you need to do is grab the other unit, plug a Ethernet cable into the actual top part of the actual unit itself, plug it in to the switch or the socket and then reach around and switch it on and hopefully we'll see the LED indicators coming on and as you can see we've got the power we've got the power line and also the LAN activity on there as well probably zoomed in a bit too quick uh, so you've got the uh, the three LEDs on there so we're now going to go and uh, connect the other end to my laptop okay so as you can see I currently have got the uh, LAN connection disabled at the moment uh, so I don't currently have uh, any internet. I'm just going to refresh my website. There we go. Page cannot be displayed. So we're just going to go and enable that device. And as you can see, it's attempting to authenticate. And you can see here it is connected onto my Plusnet network. Zoom in a little bit closer so hopefully you can see that there. And we're just going to go to back to the browser. We're going to refresh the page. And there we go. We now have got internet connectivity. So hopefully as you can see the uh, LEDs are all showing. And we're now uh, streaming a video from uh, YouTube on my website. And there's Neil doing a review. Okay, so now that you've got your power line adapters set up and everything's working all good for you, you can actually go and have a look at the management utility, uh, which is the power line utility setup wizard. Just go and install that a moment. And just launch the uh, the actual application itself. So on here, we've got status network advanced and system. Under status, it will give you your MAC address, the default network name. If you do need to refer to it, you can type in your own or use the default one. Uh, and obviously the latest firmware that you're on uh, with the actual units. Moving on to network, it will show the actual two power line adapters that are currently connected onto uh, the power line network as such. You've got the local one, which is obviously the one that's connected to the actual router, and you've got a remote one. Uh, so if you were to go and add more power line adapters to the actual network, uh, they would all show in here. And I see it will provide you with a MAC address, etc. And I see the rate of transfer. I've got um, downloading a few bits and pieces on my laptop at the moment, hence why that number is changing. Moving on to advanced, we've got simple application mapping through the QoS setting. Um, and essentially what this does is limit bandwidth uh, depending on what you want to set them up as. So if you're going to be predominantly using it for the internet, have the internet set. If you're going to be online gaming, if this is going to be connected onto a PlayStation or Xbox, 
uh, then I'll just set it to audio gaming. If you've got a home, um, if you've got a streaming machine or anything of that nature, or you're going to be streaming a lot of video or audio, then I'll see that's the one for you. And I'll see you can go in and uh, change various different cap levels uh, on the VLAN tags and the toss bits on this side as well. Moving on to system, you can upgrade your firmware, you can reset the local device or all devices and I see change their network name if you wish. So it's just a, a, a quite a simple utility. Um, the main area of interest is going to be obviously with the kiosk settings uh, as to, to where the, the bandwidth gets allocated across the power line adapters. So now to my final thoughts about the AV1200 power line kit from TP-Link. The units themselves are very stylish in their white finish and are extremely well made using high quality materials. The devices also have the additional benefit of being pass through so you don't lose the socket and the units are quite wide so I'd recommend flicking the switch to the actual socket before you actually plug them in. Setting them up is mega simple and anyone will be able to just plug them in following the instructions and then you'll have more than enough transfer speed of bandwidth in those hard to reach areas of your home or property and also for those wanting a more stable gigabit connection across the LAN interface. One thing that I haven't mentioned throughout the video is that the devices also feature an automatic power saving mode which is great for those energy conscious people so when they're not really sort of being used it will go into a power saving mode but the minute you start to actually transmit data between the actual power lines you'll see then uh, the devices automatically come back on so the av1200 from tp-link is stylish simple to use easy to set up and it does exactly what it says on the box without any issues so it's a big thumbs up from us we hope you liked the video um, the review unboxing setup guide and we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video Thanks for watching our video and we do hope you enjoyed it. Please do leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and also visit our website nismotech.com where you'll find all the products we've done videos for as well as our current giveaways and the latest tech news and press releases. We hope to see you again soon.